I'm gonna tell you what they're not telling you about the Lowrider ST. You're gonna be shocked. And the reason I can tell you this is because Harley Davidson hasn't loaned me a bike for a week to do a honest review on it. I own the bike, I've ridden it, I'm gonna tell you the truth. And someone needs to tell the truth about this bike. Hey guys, Daniel Hayes here. Um, just in full transparency, I'm about to review the um, the El Diablo Lowrider ST. Obviously, it's been out for a while. Um, I'm not gonna cover everything, but I just wanna, in full disclosure, I just wanna say a couple of things. I tried to buy one of these things when they first come out. I didn't even know it would come out. I put it out on Facebook. Just, just to give you a bit of history, let's go back in time, six months or nine months. And I said that I was after one, and I had a number of people that had just ordered them. I won't go into too much details, but they said that they would sell me theirs. A couple of people just wanted two or $3,000 more than what they paid for it. I think they sold in Australia for around $40,000. They were sold out in about a minute. There was a number of people that contacted me. That they said that when they get it, that they'll contact me. So I had one guy went from $43,000 to when he got it, he then wanted $70,000 for it. That's his prerogative. I, I just thought that was really sad. But the long story short is, is I gave up on getting one and then I saw one for sale. I'm, I'm just gonna be honest, it was for sale I think at $47,000. And I thought, well, that that's reasonable. And I did a deal and we negotiated and I bought it for $44,000. So I paid $4,000 more. It was unregistered. So I paid maybe, registration was $1,000. So I got one, uh, I bought it outright. What you're gonna hear about the um, the Lowrider ST is gonna be absolute zero bullshit. I own it. I think you'll find some stuff that I have to say quite interesting. I hope you enjoy this little vlog. Okay, that's it. I just want to show you the odometer. So, reserve has 34 Ks. <sighs> That's the odometer. That's this bike has not been ridden yet. So, I'm about to ride it for the first time. Let's go. Just before I review this bike, I just want to tell you very quickly my experience so you know who is reviewing it, so you can judge yourself if, if I'm experienced enough. But the bikes I've owned, I've owned and all of these bikes I've pretty much modded up. I've owned three different V-Rods, um, I've owned, owned a Road King, I've owned, I've owned the, the CVO Street Glide, I'm just reading from the list, um, the CVO Road Glide, I've owned a Fat Boy with a 107 in it. I've owned a 1200 Sporty, which I customized. I've owned a 48, which I customized. Customized. I've owned an 883 Sporty, which I've customized. Um, and I've also owned a Softail Slim, which I fully customized. I've also ridden nearly every model, thanks to Geelong Harley <laughs> um, from the Pan America. I haven't ridden the Livewire, but I've ridden, you know, the Tri Glides. I've, ri I've ridden pretty much everything. So. Reviewing this bike, you know, there's a good base of which, you know, I can come from to tell you about it. How much riding do I do? Now, I just want to say one other thing too, and this might upset some people, I'm sorry, but someone can say they've been riding for 20 years and that seems like a long time, but if you're only riding two or three times a year, um, doesn't make you a really experienced rider. I'm not saying that I'm better than anyone. I'm not saying that I'm a better rider than anyone because 
Um, I know people that have been excellent riders that have been killed. Last year, I did just under 100,000 kilometers on Harley Davidsons. You know, I think that that's a lot of case. So I do ride a lot. So I'm, a, I'm definitely no engineer, but I'm talking about feel, comfort, power, um, suspension, handling, you know, how connected you feel to the bike. That is what, as I'm getting older, that's that's really what I'm looking for. So I just thought I'd give you, that's a bit of my resume. My resume is reasonably solid with what you're about to hear about the review on the El Diablo. It's so comfortable. You can just, um, the suspension is so good on this. You got the inverted forks. You got the rear mono shock. Such a comfortable bike to ride. So light. So very excited, just got the bike registered for the first time. So, took about 15 minutes, one and a half thousand dollars with 12 months rego. So this is legally on the road, which is awesome. And you wanna see my number plate? I'm actually gonna have the number plate professionally fitted at Geelong Harley, because I don't wanna stuff it up, but I'll show you my number plate. What number build do you think mine is? Thanks for doing this. Because no, I'd stuff it up. What are you uh, actually doing? Hey? What are we doing? We're going to put a crate motor in it. Yeah, no, I've got a paint set for you too. Uh -oh. to go on it. Oh, you wanted that, didn't you? Yeah, I hate the red. Okay, today's mission is to get this on here so it looks good. How good's this bike? Yeah, there's another one like this that gets around. Hey? I know a bloke with one of these. I actually thought this was my bike. <laughs> but uh, it's got our oh, legends. Yeah. And what's, is this the adjuster for it? Yeah, so put the adjusters down there. Yeah. It's it's all right. So what's what's the best way to put this on? Will I get cold at all? Yeah, get cold. It'll be one. Here's your mate. Cole's not busy. Just gonna have to fucking wait a minute, Danny. Hey? I don't wait for no one, mate. Yeah, no. Well, fuck off. What are you working We've on? We've got a traveller through from Queensland, the poor man. Yeah. And he's riding and he's got to catch ferries and do all sorts of, not queer ferries. Yeah. They can, transporting ones so he came in just to get a service but it's a few things wrong do, with it we're having to do some extensive repairs but we'll get her what sort of bike is it is it a harley no this is a yamaha <laughs> we had yamahas in here on the weekend yeah i'll be an r1 like that heap of shit you had the yeah. bloke's gear lever fell off yeah so he limped in here stuck in second gear and I sent him on his way with a Milwaukee 8 push rod tube welded into 
It was <laughs> onto an R, onto an R1. Onto an R1. So I told him he had the best R1 in Australia now because it had a piece of Milwaukee eight exhaust tube. Yeah, it's true, it's a true story. He was beside himself happy. Should you well, be using had to act happy? Can I just ask a technical question? Go on then. Should you be using a torque wrench? Should I be? Yeah. When I get to the point where I need to talk the things I probably would do. Can you do that again and make that talk noise that you make? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Can you do that? That's, when you're that's talking? years of experience. <laughs> uh, can you just do that again and, and talk it? Okay, here we Put it in talk mode. Can Ready? You just put... Hang on. No. Oh, no, I didn't hear the clicking. Oh, well, fuck okay. it. What's the clicking? The clicking of being fucking your teeth hitting together. Why didn't you get one that fits, Danny? Why... Oh, because I didn't know they were made to fucking order. I just asked for a motorbike one. So, just so you guys know, I'm going to do, what, about a thousand k's on it, Cole, before we work it? That's not a bad idea. Yeah, yeah. It takes the high spots off the primary and the fucking gearbox. So what I'm going to do with the El Diablo is, and I'll talk about it more in depth when all the parts come in, but we're getting a new seat, full exhaust system, Stage two cam. What cam are we putting in it, Sippy? Oh, we're putting the Star 3030 cam in it. We're putting the what? The Star 3030 cam. And why have you gone that? Because I've never heard of that cam. Because it's a really good cam. It's a really good broad all-round cam we found. Yeah. Um, in these 117s especially, they've just wanted a little bit more cam than your 114s and 107s. And this is the most you can put in the stock valve train, but also works really well, really smooth. And doesn't have the wind up that other cams feel like they do. It's real right off the bottom, it's just gonna pull. Yeah, so a okay. real broad power band. Okay. All right, I didn't really understand any of that, but <laughs> um, is Star Cam a brand? Star Racing's a brand run by S George Bryce. Star Racing by George Bryce. There's nothing in this for me. I'm not getting it for free. I'm just, this is what we're doing. <laughs> I'm just fixing the bother up for you. <laughs> I don't think you've got the right shifter, mate. No, no, this one fixes this. Look at, mate, yeah. that's the big no, I got it, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> show done. Me, it's done. Show me the size of that shifter. Can you, can you get a bigger one, Gunner? Uh, we Go can. One. Absolute professionalism what a at Geelong. Piece of fucking shit. Abs the market fucking junk. Absolute professionalism at Geelong Harley. Yeah, that's it. Look, that's beautiful. Right. Look at that. It's <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to, I'll cut it and weld it and we'll make it good, but I can't... Well, can't we just take it off? Do we need it on there? No, you'll kick it and smash the plates. Oh, all right. right. We'll, we'll leave it. We'll leave it for now. You should be able to what? You, you'll be able to get that to wheel stand in second gear. Just put your right foot under the brake pedal. Yep, but so how, do you, how do you do that? We just tip your foot forward and put it under the brake pedal. And you just pop it up? Bounce her up, she'll come up easy. You yep. might be able to power that one up when stiff is finished. Yep. And then of course if you go over too far, you've got to use your back brake to pull yourself back oh. over. And that'd be a bit hard because you'll have your foot under it. I'll try and do that when, yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that straight away. I love wheel standing Harleys. Okay, so we've just decided that this looks shit. Just, it just stands up way too much. So we've just found this plate over here. So I've just ordered one of those, which will look better. So there's going to be lots of changes made to it. As I said, we're getting the cam pipes, a full stage two. That's going. All these have been changed. Leaves have been changed. That's been changed. That's been changed. Okay, leaving Geelong Harley. I'm gonna put some Ks on the bike over the next few weeks until all my parts come in. Then I'll bring it back and then we'll start the, um, the modifications on the bike and make it sound a lot better and make it a lot faster. So I've just pulled into one of my offices and a delivery has come for me. A delivery, very exciting. <gasps> From Saddleman, my new seat. I contacted these guys and they made a seat for me, so, but I'm not quite sure what it is. Let's have a look. Let's unbox the seat for the Diablo. Yeah, 
details. Yeah. So I've had my new seat come in from Settleman. So that's that's day one riding the um the new beast i've um set the handlebars up a bit better the new seat and um, i'm now going to probably do about a thousand kilometers on it just just run the motor in before i do any work to it how did it ride um it's unbelievable i'm not just saying that i've been the first to bag harley davidson suspension out the mono shock the inverted forks this thing is on point um, it just eats up the bumps. Um, there's none of that rear, you know, coming in at speed to a corner. Um, there's none of that real, that, 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 that sort of rear wheel wobble. Um, the bike feels light. Look, this is not a sports bike, it's not a race bike, but this is a sporty Harley Davidson. Tons of clearance. Um, I felt comfortable. It is like a mini, um, you know, road glide. Um, you know, today I did some shopping. <laughs> Had that in the in the panniers. Yeah, tons of power. It's a really good bike. I'm really, really um, happy with it. I'm loving it. Um, and just to ride it as is is fine. But um, I mean, who's going to ride a stock Harley Davidson? I mean, the reason you buy a Harley Davidson is to change it. So that's what we're going to be doing. <sighs> okay, guys, it's quarter to five a.m. I'm just leaving Geelong. I'm heading to a place called Bright which there's a motorbike and car festival on. It's been going for three days, but I'm just gonna, it's Sunday, because I've been busy with other stuff, I'm just gonna ride up there today. It's about a five hour ride. Stay for about three or four hours and then ride home. So I'm gonna do about 900 kilometers today. And the good thing is, I will um, break in the El Diablo, the, um, the low rider ST. Um, I've always ridden my bikes around 1500 Ks to the first service. Um, and then I'm gonna put the cam in and then I'm gonna upgrade the bike. So I'll just show you where we're going. Let's get to plug it in. Don't trust the maps. And there it is. Geelong, Melbourne. It's in the Alpine country. I was there recently with the Bobhead boys. So um, it's a beautiful area. I've never been to this, this festival, this, this motorbike and car show festival, but Colin and some of the guys from Geelong Harley are there, so I'll meet them. And um, I gotta say, I'm loving riding the Lowrider ST. You know, this is a small series of riding it, breaking it in, getting it modified, and I'm gonna keep vlogging it. Um, and at this point, it's the best I've not ridden every Harley Davidson, I've ridden a lot of Harleys, but at this point, this is the best Harley Davidson I have ridden. It is just such a comfortable bike. And I'm gonna say it again, the suspension is on point, seriously. People have been asking me about the panniers because they're different, because you'll notice they, um, and they open up like that. Um, it's quite a bit of room, but what I've found is you have to lock them because there's been a few times I've been running down the highway and they've come open. So it might just be an adjustment thing, but um, yeah, I've, I've been locking them. It's never a cool look when you're riding down the highway acting cool to your music and your panties are open. We shit flying out. I've had that happen.
Okay, I'm just having my first break. I've done 140 kilometers. The bike is super comfortable. Um, I need to bring the handlebars in. When I do the modifications, they need to come in about two inches. But again, it's about setting the bike up for you. I'm braking in the new seat. Okay. And it's got it's a, a gel seat, which is good, but I just can't. It's just like a road glide, but a lot lighter. Um, it's a lot quicker. The stock motor is just incredible. Um, and again, I know I go on about it. I'm not bullshitting. I'm not getting paid for this. Um, but the suspension is just so good. This is a very comfortable bike. Just at Euroa, we're about 150 k's to Bright. A couple of things about the bike. Um, unless you lock the panniers, they come undone. So it's a bit annoying. Maybe it's just an adjust adjustment on the latch, but um, so I've got a mate out here and I just went on his private road and um, I took the bike up to the maximum speed, which was 193 kilometers an hour. It got there quite easily. And, um, but it wouldn't go any further, so it's like it's governed. There was a lot more in it, and um, so 193. I've only done 550 k's on this bike so far, so I don't know if you have to do so many k's before it allows you to go faster. Not that you want to go that fast, but I think it's important to know that the power of the bike that sort of got to 193 quite easily, and then it would just it just sort of backed off. Um, I did that a couple of times, and then obviously went back onto the main highway. And just rode normally so you know we're going to fill up the fuel economy is excellent <laughs> 350 400 k's a tank um, and the bike is extremely comfortable <laughs> 